April 16th was a special day for everyone at Tactical Base Gambari. For the Train Advise Assist Commandee's service members, it was an inspirational opportunity to meet returning American heroes. For one Marine and four soldiers, it was a chance to visit service members in Afghanistan, and this time, leave on their own terms. This trip has been very surreal so far. Uh, like it's already been said, I definitely did not think I was coming back. But now that I'm here, uh, you know, I'm extremely glad to be here, still trying to take it all in and process it. Operation Proper Exit is an initiative through Faraday's Troops First Foundation that continues to return recovered service members to theater and to countries from which they previously received medical evacuations. During the meet and greet event, the returning heroes were able to rekindle their camaraderie with fellow service members and share stories about their lives and recovery. It was just great support from my family, from my friends, from work, and then just getting out there and being as active as I could. Um, and that, that's what helped me, you know, get back to what I'm doing. Uh, right now, I'm actually back in uniform as a double amputee uh, highway patrolman in Arizona. So you can come through, just say hi, and I'll write you a warning and get you back on your way. All right? I don't think there's one of us up here that healed on their own, got, got ourselves off the battlefield on our own. It's something that you rely on other people all the time to not only sometimes check on you, but also to be able to reach out to them. I drive. I shoot. I do most things now on my own. I'd like to know that we've had some people get injured here and what we can do when we get back to help them with their recovery. It's important that you keep them in your mind, just like, like Leroy, Leroy was saying. Invite them over when you guys are hanging out. Get them to the company and give them things to do or just come, come by and hang out when you guys are refitting. I didn't take no for an answer. And I didn't take anybody telling me that I couldn't do anything. Too hard or anything like that, I was going to make my own destiny.